Hey guys, in this video, I am going to cover throughout this video, I am going to cover very, very important points around the background automation and what are the key areas that you must read before appearing for the exam. Okay, so let's quickly get started. First thing, let me ask you is there a template available for a background process automation? And can you give me examples of background process automation? So yes, in UiPath Studio, there is a template available called background process. Using this template, if you click on this and create a process, like you click on the process and create a process, same way background process is a template. You can click on this and it will create a process. So I've already done that. So let me show you this. Now, in this one, in this background process automation template, I asked you what are the examples can you give me? For example, any Excel specific project, only Excel specific project. This can also go for a background automation completely done in the background, can be done in the background, can be done. And then mail activities can also be done in the background. These are the examples, right? And also certain system specific, let's say, uh, for example, um, you know, you are doing some assign activities and doing certain calculations and then writing into an Excel, something like that, you know, all these things can get to a background automation. And the next one is web API. So you are, you know, uh, I have, I have an API series. I hope you have already gone through that. So in that also your web API can be completely a background thing. Okay. So these are a couple of examples of background or process automation. So two points you have learned about the template and few examples of the background process automation. Now, what are the important points for, for the exam standpoint you must know? Okay, what are the important points? Let me first show you here in the project when you are using a background process template, one of the difference that you must be aware is starts in background, it is enabled, yes. In this template, this option is enabled, yes. That's why it is running, it is starting in the background. Getting it? Very, very important option. Remember this. So any questions around this, you should be able to answer. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to some of our documentation, which will be very, very helpful. There will be questions. For example, if there's a background process is running, right? And you would like to bring that background process to foreground, which is the activity can be used. So look, read this. A background process can be transitioned to the foreground with the help of use foreground activity. Very important sentence. Please make a note. Okay. You can look for the examples and all that. And I think I also have created some of the videos in my channel. You can see them. You can search for them. Now let's look at some of the important points. Remember attended robots run on multiple process at the same time with a single license is consumed. For attended robot with a single license, I can run multiple uh, foreground processes and one background process. That is very important sentence. And for unattended robot, run multiple processes at the same time. Each running process consumes a separate license. Okay, if you want to run everything simultaneously, you have to buy separate licenses for the. So th this may not be a very important point for the exam, but good to know. Now. I have highlighted so many important points. Okay, I'll go through very, very important ones. Background process execution is performed by a robot on a machine for a particular user. Process runs in the same window session at the same time. Okay, all the sentences, you know, highlight, you know, open the specific page and highlight what I have done and try to have an understanding of all of these sentences. Very important. Okay. Um, yeah, th this is very important. The green color one. According to this type of license, an attended robot can concurrently execute one foreground process with UI interaction and multiple background processes. Okay, don't be confused. How many background processes? Multiple background processes you can run and only one foreground process. Okay, very important is foreground because it has to interact with the user interface. So one foreground and multiple background. There is no limit. Multiple. So this sentence is very, very important. You should know for the exam standpoint. Okay. Now let me show you. Um, okay. Background process doesn't need to interact with UI element on screen. Okay. All this you can read it. Okay. This is very important. Okay. During startup, a window session is created for the system process to run, which are not related to specific user. All this I have videos. Okay. Where I've explained in detail, but here I am very uh, focused on the exam for the exam. What you should know. Okay. 
so all this I have specific videos you can also search for those videos if you type session 0 and all that I have explained system process to run which are not related to specific user this is called session 0 this session allows windows to run system process and needs to be machine itself when so what is the meaning when you start your computer right a windows session is created initially the windows session is created that is called session 0 and then goes the session 1 which is the this is the windows session and the other one is called the user session okay for um, for all this let me show you what you should do okay on youtube simply because if i simply um, you know you might be confused here so let me help you i have actually created videos okay so let me type session 0 ui path so any topic that you get confused always type it i generally have some content around this so what is session 0 and user session session 1 okay this video you can just go through it okay very small video just go through it you will understand okay, 11 minutes video go through it that is the important point okay so you understand when session 0 what happens uh, when session 1 what happens okay uh, that is important and then uh, to use credential specified orchestra you need to configure the ui path uh, headless with user environment variable on the machine and set the value to true okay all these important points that i have highlighted ensure you are reading and understanding all of this if you don't understand look for a video around it i'll be having almost all the videos around all this um, okay so all these points okay just look at this all these points you should what i have highlighted are very important points read read through all of it okay so pause the video look read this and highlight on your on your computer screen and go through all of it when running a background automation by unattended robot right when you run it from unattended robot that will run in windows session 0 very important when you run it from attended that runs on the user session okay so that's why they are telling if you are using any office related product um, you know uh, then you should not go for a unattended one when running background automation via unattended robots using Microsoft Office applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint might not work properly as they have built to run in the user session. In the session one, it should run. Okay, so you should not. So all these important points, please read it. Okay. Next point, uh, use foreground. I think I have covered this. Use foreground. Okay. And this visible. Okay. In the Excel application, for it to run it in the background, there is a property called visible. Okay. That you. I, I think I have already have a video on this. So drag and drop the Excel application scope and there is a visible property if you enable or disable it will behave accordingly. When selected the Excel file opened in the foreground it will run in the foreground. If you uncheck it it will run in the background. Okay important point. So I think these are the important points if you go through it any question that comes around background automation you should be able to answer it. <coughs> now there is also something called uh, picture in picture okay PIP. Do you see this run in PIP? I'll cover that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching it. Let's move on to our next content. Please do concentrate because on all of this I have created a video so that I did not go through in detail through examples but I have videos. Please do watch them in case you have doubt. Otherwise just reading this documentation also will help. I have highlighted the important point. Go through the documentation. Okay guys. So thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have seen it. Okay. If not if I have so look at this. Pause the video time to time and see what I have highlighted and you keep on highlighting or when you read it yourself also you will be able to understand some of the important areas that you have to highlight. Okay, this is also important. Okay, and the page ends here. So thank you guys for watching it. Let's move on to our next topic. Bye-bye.